This review is of Swerve, the ultimate sugar replacement brown. And it's non-GMO, certified by NSF, zero calories, tastes, bakes, and measures like brown sugar. Let's see. What else? Gluten-free, diabetes-friendly, non-glycemic, tummy-friendly, keto-friendly, the blurb. And then, zero net carbs. Kosher, born and raised in New Orleans and pet safe. Not that I think you should be giving sweetened food to pets, but I know some people are foolish with their pets because they love them too much. One teaspoon has no fat, cholesterol, sodium, or protein. Four grams of erythritol is all it's got. And there are the ingredients. Now, the prebiotic oligosaccharides are great. They're, um, they help your gut biome, which is the bacteria that helps you to digest your food inside of your gut and stomach. So having the oligosaccharides of, uh, in there are, is great. However, now there are some people who do have sensitivity to oligosaccharides. So if you start using this and or anything else with oligosaccharides, and you notice you're getting diarrhea suddenly, um, that's, your body is not used to it. So what you should do is you should wait several days and then just use a very, very small amount. If that gives you diarrhea, cut that amount in half and just keep on decreasing the amount till you get to the point where you're not having diarrhea. And then you just slowly build up every day how much you're doing and, and eventually you will be able to consume um, oligosaccharides. Uh, you can do that with most things that you're having a reaction to. Uh, as far as food is concerned, it's called the FODMAP diet. And it's basically you eliminate everything from your diet except for one thing that's totally safe. And then you add something else in and, and see if you get a reaction. You add something else until you find something that gives you a reaction. And FODMAP uh, specifically focuses on six different groups of uh, foods. I don't remember all of them. The O is oligosaccharides. That's all I can remember. <laughs> so, but as far as sweetness is concerned, because we can't forget to talk about that. Now, this does have basically the same texture and appearance as brown sugar. And they have used uh, fruit juice concentrate to add flavor to this. So I guess that means there's some kind of small amount of sugar in there. Um, and it tastes quite, quite similar to brown sugar. Now, because they used erythritol as the main sweetener, you're going to have to use more of this than you would, uh, say, a uh, brown sugar. Now, probably not too big of a difference between this and light brown sugar, but a fairly significant difference between this and dark brown sugar, between both the sweetness and the flavor, because dark brown sugar, of course, has a stronger sweetness and a stronger flavor. Um, so you'll have to do some experimenting when you're baking to make sure that you don't under sweeten it, because then you'll have to compensate with like a frosting or an icing or something like that. But yeah, it's, it's a nice, uh, safe choice for people with diabetes and other metabolic syndromes. Um, so I'm going to give this I'll give it an eight. Thanks for watching. Afia to you, my viewers, and have a great day.